What is the one thing nicer than a pair of Gatiano and Girling Goodyear welted leather dress shoes? A totally handmade pair of Gatiano and Girling leather dress shoes. In today's video, I'm going to review Gatiano and Girling's new optimum range of totally handcrafted made to order shoes. Just when you think things couldn't get any better without going full bespoke, Gatiano and Girling releases this beauty. Gaziano's factory-made leather dress shoes are among the best to come out of Britain. The detail and craftsmanship that goes into these shoes is superb. But as hard as it might be to believe, there is a customer that wants even more. More detail, more finesse, more perfection. But let's be honest, the price jump between a factory-made pair of shoes at $1,200 and full bespoke, which can cost upwards of $7,000, is huge. Gaziano and Girling's new Optimum range of made-to-order shoes were designed precisely for this customer, a true connoisseur of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. The Optimum made-to-order range is for the customer who wants the detail and perfection of full bespoke without going through the full bespoke process, which as we know can take up to a year if not longer. Now, the cost of the Optimum is 2,750 pounds, or about $4,000 for a pair of shoes, and 3,000 pounds, or about 4,200 for a pair of boots. Pricing includes fully bespoke shoe trees and bags. But the burning question here is why would one pay upward of $4,000 and not go full bespoke? Now, and this is a good question. Well, perhaps you're impatient and don't want to wait upwards of a year for your first shoe, or perhaps Gatsion and Girling doesn't travel to where you live or you don't travel to London, or perhaps Gatsiano's standard last already fits you quite well. All of these are good reasons to forego the extra time and expense of going full bespoke. Now, what's not included in the optimum relative to bespoke, of course, is that bespoke lasting process. So you're not going to have measurements taken, uh, you're not going to have a trial shoe uh, that needs to be fit, and you're not going to go through that adjustment process in order to get that really perfect fit, that perfect bespoke last that you do in a pair of bespoke shoes. For that, of course, you have to go full bespoke, uh, and you're paying upwards of $7,000 at a company like Gaziano and Girling. But other than that bespoke last and certain design flexibilities, uh, you know, if you want to create your uh, totally own pattern or a, a totally new incarnation of shoe that's not represented within Gaziano's standard range, okay, you'd need to go full bespoke. But other than that, Gaziano's optimum range of shoes are totally handmade by the same bespoke shoe makers as their full bespoke range, but on a standard last, which allows them to be taken straight to finish in as little as four months. So other than the absence of that fully bespoke last, these shoes are the exact same as a fully bespoke $7,000 pair of shoes, which is pretty exciting. So you ask yourself, what exactly is the difference between a fully handmade pair of Gatsiano and Girling shoes and a pair made in their factory? Well, I have two pairs of the St. James's here, the fully handmade pair through their Optimum program and a pair made in the factory. So the next part of this video, we're gonna take a look at these two shoes to really showcase the difference and finish of the Optimum shoe relative to what is an uh, exceptional example of a factory made shoe. So what is my first impression on the difference between these two shoes right here? Well, the only way to describe this Optimum shoe is totally next level. Uh, the beauty is in how perfectly well executed this shoe is. Uh, and coming on top of Gaziano's standard range, that is really saying a lot because this is as fine of an example of a factory made shoe as really there is. So I'm gonna turn these around so that you can see them right here. Uh, and then I'm gonna go through uh, just kind of the differences in detail. So just backing up at kind of a high level view, uh, you can certainly tell that there is a difference between these two shoes. It is the exact same model made from uh, the exact same leather, but gone through two totally different processes. Here you have the factory made Goodyear welted leather dress shoe uh, that would cost $1,200 that you could buy from Gaziano's website. Uh, and then here we have the Optimum, which is a fully handmade, completely handcrafted shoe similar, but that's uh, really only in the design of the pattern themselves. Uh, everything else about these shoes is really different. 
Now, first impressions, again, is that this Optimum uh, is really flawlessly executed. Now, oftentimes on this channel, I talk about the nuanced details of shoemaking that I really love. You see it on a really uh, well-made pair of shoes from a factory. But whenever you compare this factory-made shoe uh, to this bespoke one, I mean, it's almost like uh, comparing a Cadillac to a Rolls Royce. I mean, they couldn't be more different. Uh, this is just more uh, perfectly balanced. It's more perfectly executed. It's got sharper lines. Uh, everything about this shoe really screams quality craftsmanship and tradition. So I'm going to try to go through in detail some of the differences, uh, and uh, you know we can kind of talk about them in the comments of this video. Now again, this is a $1,200 shoe, and this is a $4,000 shoe. There is a big difference between these two shoes, but I think that once you look at the quality of how this is made, that that price is really substantiated by the amount of additional effort that goes into the shoe. Now one of the first questions I asked Tony whenever he sent me these two shoes is, are they made from the same leather? Because if you look at them, it looks like different leather. Uh, his answer, of course, is yes, they use the same quality and grade of leather uh, throughout the entire factory. But the difference is between the Optimum and bespoke shoes and the standard made order is that they only use the absolute highest cuts of that leather. So you might have a huge piece of leather, and for the factory made shoes, they're kind of stamping out or clicking pattern pieces to utilize as much of that as possible. Uh, but uh, you might need one or maybe two hides just to get one pair of shoes because, again, they're using just the most perfect areas of the shoe. No veins, no stretch marks. Uh, and you can really see that uh, whenever you look at these shoes next to one another. Now, of course, at the end of the process, uh, the Optimum shoes are going to go through more polishing and more finishing than a standard pair of shoes from the factory which again is to say a lot because a pair of Gaziano shoes already goes through more finishing uh, at the end of the production than say a standard pair of factory made shoes, but you can still see the difference right here. Now again, keeping this high level, uh, you can certainly see a difference in last definition. So again, the Optimum shoes uh, are going to be uh, made on a stock pattern for a stock last, but then it's going to be completely hand lasted by a bespoke shoemaker. Now the difference that you get there is in that last definition. One of the things I talk about a really high-end pair of factory-made shoes versus say a pair of Allen Edmonds is that last definition. And here with the Optimum, again, we take it to the next level. Now one of my favorite things to do is something that I call the pencil test. So I'm gonna pull out a pencil right here uh, and we're actually going to look at the degree of last definition that you get in the Optimum versus just the standard factory-made shoe. Now there are two places to really notice and observe last definition. Uh, and one of the most pronounced is going to be at the arch right here under the foot. Now a really good shoe should have last definition that really kind of cups the arch of the foot and supports the foot right there. Uh, and that is, of course is done through the lasting process. Now uh, I like to do the pencil test right here where I drop a pencil down kind of right there uh, at the side of the shoe kind of exposing the arch. And you can see the last definition. You can see I can put my finger in here. It's curving up underneath the arch uh, down to the waist of the shoe. Now let's look uh, at the optimum. Uh, and again, the last definition right here at the arch is so much that that waist totally disappears underneath the shoe. It's really quite extraordinary. And I'm going to put this uh, pencil down and you can see, I mean, really the amount of space right here underneath the arch. I don't know if you can see this or try to get with the camera is about twice the amount of definition that you get with the standard shoe. So I'll turn this around so you can get a better view, but again, you can see just the amount of definition you have here. Uh, and you turn the shoe over, I mean, again, look at this waist. I mean, just look how that totally curves uh, underneath the arch. And that is one of the characteristics of a really well-made pair of shoes that translates uh, into actual comfort. This makes the shoe significantly more comfortable because it's kind of hugging the bottom of the foot around a very important area. Now, where else can you see this last definition? Well, it's not just there uh, at the arch. You can see it here across the uh, front of the toe, you know, at the, uh, the toe box again. I mean, this has great last definition, uh, just especially when compared to a standard pair of four or $500 pair of factory made shoes. But you compare this next to the Optimum and you see even more toe definition across the box. Again, it's that sculpture that really makes a beautiful pair of shoes stand out. It's one of the things I love. It's one of the things that always kind of speaks to me. That last definition, again, kind of carries 
all the way around the shoe, uh, just and how you see the overall shape uh, of the shoe itself. Now we'll talk a little bit about how that mirrors uh, the welt, uh, the way that this welt is done, uh, and uh, kind of the fudging along here is absolutely uh, perfectly executed at a higher degree of resolution uh, than what you get with the factory made shoe, because again, this is being done by hand, but we'll get to that in a moment. So as I follow that around, again, beautiful last definition, uh, absolutely exceptionally uh, shaped heel, kind of nice and tight. Again, this has got a bespoke a shoe tree in here uh, that is uh, pulling this a little bit tauter than what you would get with a standard shoe tree. Uh, and you can see that right here. I mean, just look uh, at the sculpture. Look at the elegance of the back of that shoe. Look at how that heel block sits underneath the heel. I mean, it again is absolutely perfectly and beautifully executed. Now again, you see a lot of the same elements here, but the difference is in how this is executed. Again, the optimum is next level. I mean, again, on the standard ready to wear shoes, the heel block is very neatly placed underneath the heel. But again, look at the gap here with the optimum. I mean, it's absolutely flawless, it's perfect. I mean, this is bespoke quality. It literally is bespoke quality. Here, it's done quite well uh, on the made to order shoe or on the um, ready to wear shoe, but it's just not quite to this level. Even look at the resolution here, kind of on the fudging. So this is uh, where a uh, wheel is taken to kind of uh, create this indentation around the edge of the heel. It's really ornamentation than anything else. Look at the resolution, look at the depth here uh, on the optimum shoes. Uh, really, again, flawlessly and perfectly executed. The heel looks like it's clipped more rises up, it's tighter. Again, that's gonna help the shoe fit better. It's gonna prevent any slipping. And again, that is something that's allowed through that bespoke lasting process uh, where this upper is being totally really pulled over the last by hand. Now, small little kind of trivial detail here about the lasting is that in order for this shoe to go through the bespoke shoemaking process, uh, they have to have special wooden lasts created in order to allow the shoemaker to work with it. Uh, whereas in a standard factory, uh, polyurethane or plastic lasts are used uh, in the Goodyear welting process. So a small little nuanced detail, uh, but one that I think is really kind of quite interesting whenever you consider how that actually uh, implicates how the shoe is made. So we're gonna continue this around. Again, absolutely beautiful shape and definition. Uh, I can't again tell you uh, how beautiful this shoe is. Uh, I may have been a bit of a skeptic, uh, but after actually seeing the shoe, uh, I can honestly say uh, that holding this in your hand, you can absolutely immediately pick out of the detail that goes in to the optimum. Let's talk about a few other differences right here in terms of how this uh, shoe is made as part of the bespoke process. Well, one of the details that you can't see again, is that this shoe is completely uh, hand welted. So that is the process where basically this welt is being sewn uh, actually into the insole. So a channel is cut out of the insole, uh, as what it's called, uh, and then that leather strip, which is the welt, is sewn by hand uh, into the actual insole, and then the outsole is sewn on top of the welt, and it kind of all comes together. Now, what is the difference, right? Well, again, it comes to that next level detail, that finesse, because you have less of an area or kind of a cavity inside the middle of the shoe, this shoe uh, actually sits closer to the ground. Uh, and I'd say that you can actually feel that when you compare a ready to wear pair of shoes to a bespoke one. Uh, and it's the difference again between driving a BMW M3, right? An absolutely exceptional sports car and a Ferrari, which is uh, the next level. Again, that hand welting process uh, really is that Ferrari. You get better agility, you feel the road better. Um, it's just more comfortable and uh, more responsive. Now, it's something that would be kind of hard to see, uh, but you turn these shoes over and you, know, you can kind of see comparing uh, right here that, you know, again, the optimum is going to sit a little bit closer to the ground than the uh, factory made one. Uh, next, let's look at the process of that welt, right, and kind of the outsole stitching. So after that welt is attached, then the outsole has to be sewn uh, onto the welt. Again, uh, this is being done completely by hand, just like a bespoke shoe. And just look at how beautifully that's done, and then how in the bespoke process, you know, they're trimming this sole with very kind of defined lines by hand. You know, the edges is being, uh, the edges are being finished by hand by, with hand irons. They're being polished. Look at just kind of the shape here at the toe. Again, all of this is being uh, shaped out by hand. 
Uh, and just look at the resolution of this fudging, uh, which again are the indentations put on top of the outsole. Uh, for the shoemaker, uh, when you're hand uh, uh, sewing on the outsoles, uh, this actually has the purpose to mark out where those stitches are going to be. Uh, it also provides a little bit of orna ornamentation, uh, but there's also a very pragmatic uh, purpose here. And again, I just love the resolution here. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful. Now they fudge uh, the uh, shoes on uh, the Gatsion and Girlings made in the factory, but just look at the difference. I mean, uh, I mean, of course, this is better than no fudging at all. Uh, you can see uh, the uh, outsole stitching uh, right here uh, on the inside of that welt. Uh, here on the Optimum, I mean, it's all but totally concealed uh, and absolutely beautifully and flawlessly executed. Again, look at the front of the toe. Here on the Optimum, you get more shape, uh, whereas here uh, on the factory-made shoe, they're just a little bit limited in how much shape they can work into the front uh, of that welt. A small, subtle difference, but one that is uh, very easily uh, picked up on whenever you have these two shoes in your hand. Moving around, we kind of go to where the welt disappears into the waist of the shoe right here. Again, this area, kind of right here where the shoe flexes and the heel. On a bespoke pair of shoes, uh, the welt uh, and the uh, sewing is concealed. Very flawlessly executed. We go to the actual heel block that is going to be built up by hand. Uh, whereas at the factory, it's kind of a ready-made heel block. And just look at how this pitches in slightly. It follows the line of the shoe. I mean, look at this curve right here where it kind of curves down and forward a little bit. I mean, that pitch really is uh, marvelous. It's absolutely spectacular. Uh, and then this heel block, again, is being totally built up by hand in the bespoke workshop. Uh, and just has absolutely flawless, beautiful shape to it. Again, it's what you would expect from a bespoke pair of shoes. Um, so uh, this is uh, absolutely superb craftsmanship. It's craftsmanship at the highest level. Uh, and uh, this is what really gets me excited about shoemaking. You see a pair of shoes like this, uh, and you really feel like you're ha uh, holding a piece of art, a piece of sculpture. Uh, and my favorite thing, of course, about a bespoke pair of shoes is that it is, in fact, created by hand by someone specifically for you. Uh, so there is that kind of traceability and the meaning of kind of knowing who is actually making your clothing. Uh, that again, I think is very important in the bespoke process. Let's turn this over and look at one last detail. And again, that's just the bottom finishing. You've got Gaziano's uh, signature fiddle-backed waist. Very, very narrow waist, uh, right? That's absolutely beautiful. Now, all this bottom finishing is being done by hand. You've got a perfectly executed invisible channel stitch. Again, what you would expect on a bespoke pair of shoes. Uh, and again, you know, you compare this to the factory made pair of shoes and there is certainly a difference into everything. I mean, just look at the arch uh, of those, uh, of the inking and look at how closely uh, that uh, wheel kind of follows uh, the ink around uh, and just look at the shape of the fiddleback waist uh, in and of itself. Uh, and just look at the shape of the outsole. There's just simply more shape here. Uh, it's really beautiful. You can also see the difference uh, in the heel blocks uh, from the bottom. You can see that the Optimum uh, has a more kind of refined bespoke footprint, if you will, excuse the pun, uh, than the uh, standard kind of ready to wear uh, heel block. Again, they're all finishing details that if you're someone um, that is really passionate about shoes, you'll pick up on me immediately. And it's just hard not to fall in love with that. So this is the optimum uh, level of finishing. It's a 2,750 pounds or about $4,000. Uh, and it is an absolutely, uh, really a beautiful pair of shoes. Um, so this has just been launched. You know, we're excited to be the first ones to have a look at these shoes. And I have to tell you, uh, these are pretty spectacular. Uh, if you're someone that just doesn't have that patience for that full bespoke process, uh, or if you're happy how the standard kind of lasts, fits you, uh, this is an absolutely exceptional way to access that pinnacle level of shoemaking uh, without having to go all the way to that full bespoke level. The added benefit of Gaziano being able to take these straight to finish uh, in the matter of weeks versus up to a year uh, really is a huge benefit, especially for those uh, that aren't able to travel to London or don't have Gaziano and Girling going to visit you. Uh, let me know what you think of these shoes. This is an absolutely beautiful pair of shoes. I could stare at these uh, for hours and really uh, talk about them. 
And I think it is a, a really uh, exceptional example of Tony Gaziano and Dean Gerling's ability to really innovate. I mean, this was kind of the genesis of Gaziano and Gerling, of really pushing the limits of a factory-made Goodyear welted leather dress shoe. Uh, and this is kind of naturally that next step, is bridging the gap left between a factory-made shoe and full bespoke. Uh, and you have it right here, and I must say they've done an absolutely exceptional job. Uh, let me know what you think about this shoe in the comments of the video. If you're interested uh, in acquiring a pair, uh, please do reach out to Gatsion on Girling either through social media uh, or through their website. I think that they're still working the details of how this is actually going to be sold uh, on their website right now, but it'll be part of the made to order process as kind of a premium uh, level of finishing, if you will. Uh, and here we go the Gaziano and Girling Optimums. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out our factory tour with Gaziano and Girling, uh, where Tony Gaziano takes us into the factory and through the entire manufacturing process of how they create their uh, world famous uh, Goodyear welted leather dress shoes. Uh, it's one of my uh, favorite videos and it's one of our most watched videos on this channel. And of course, if you need any help caring for your uh, beautiful shoes, look no farther than KirbyAllison.com, uh, where we have the largest selection of luxury uh, garment care and luxury shoe care products available anywhere in the world, as well as other great clothing accessories like this beautiful sovereign grade tie I'm wearing right now. Of course, it is how we support this channel, so I appreciate you visiting KirbyAllison.com. Of course, I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for joining me.